Right, so in this tutorial we're going to be looking at using um, control loops to help and improve your normal map bake. So what we have here is a cylinder which is unwrapped, it has quite a lot of sides in it but no other details other than that. We then have the object that we're going to be baking to, uh, baking from, sorry. So if we drag that into place, and just delete our history, uh, and then load transfer maps. And I'm just going to clear all on, on these. So first of all we'll add in our low poly and then select our high poly and add that in. And our output maps we'll add a normal map. Save as a JPEG just for testing. I'm going to call this TA cell N. Save as a JPEG, tangent space for now, and world space here. Keep it on low, and we'll keep 1024 by 1024, even though that's definitely overkill for something this small. Uh, make sure delete envelopes on bake is ticked off, and then we'll have a look at our, our envelope. So, obviously, at the moment, the envelope isn't big enough it's not encompassing the entire <coughs> the entire model so I'm just going to go into face mode select scale and then hold control or you can just select this here and just expand this out so that the whole of the high poly is encompassed in that and then once we've done that we should be able to just hit bake it shouldn't take too long because it's set to um, use low on this. Uh, so make sure we turn on our preview here. Okay, so let's have a look at this. So let's have a look at the normal map itself. Okay, so we can see the big problem with this. If we look at our high res model, these three areas are exactly the same thickness and they are the same taper as well. But when you look at the normal map, you'll see we've got a big taper here and a really small area, nice and even, and then small and then big. So we're getting a lot of distortion in this. We're also getting a lot of um, a little bit of waviness and we're getting some really large gradients on here. So a couple this is where we use something called control edges so or control loops so if we just add a loop at either end what we should find is that bake will come out a bit nicer now the reason for this is because the way it figures out the normal map bake it will shoot a normal from here and then a normal from here and then up and then across if you have an extra face in it could shoot a normal figure out that curvature to here and then go nice and straight up here. Whereas if you don't have that, it's going to have to figure out this right angle is a nice, it's a long curve that kind of comes all the way down here. Now the other thing we may, we need to fix is our smoothing groups. So if we have a look on our model here, the edges I've just selected, the two ends, are where the seams are, where it splits off our island. So let's just set these to a harder edge. And hopefully that will fix this gradienting we're having down here. So if we load transfer maps again, let's just check that that envelope is still okay, looks fine. And we'll just go over our old one. Give that a sec to finish baking and we'll move this out of the way. Okay, so for a start, our end cap is now fine. So you can instantly see what a difference those just the smoothing groups have made there. And this is also looking, look at the shadows here. You notice how they're nice, kind of even shadows now. And if we check our normal map, you see that's much better now. We've got nice even shadows. We've got the nice curvature here, which isn't gradienting out forever. And the waviness is only minor, even on a low poly bake. So 
that's the lesson to learn from this tutorial is that using these control edges is really useful for improving your low poly bake like vertices are, are very cheap in, in game anyway so adding a couple of extra loops in is not the end of the world uh, the other thing is making sure that you have your hard and soft edges set correctly so in this case all we did was the ends of each each end of the cylinder now remember we do have that little script to do that same process uh, but I did want to show you how to do it just using the tools as well